a, you know, sense of uh, peace. So now where you've gone back to the Gerudo Mesa, this is where the um, where the uh, final cutscene will take place within the game that actually has text in it. So yes, it's the Mirror Twilight, you know. So how they get there, I've always wondered, did they use Midna to uh, teleport them there? Which I'm pretty sure they did, because I couldn't see Zelda walking out in the desert, nah. Just wanna happen. So, now we got the last cutscene of the game. And then we got the rest of the credits. Okay, well, I guess this is farewell, huh? Light and Shadow can't mix, as we all know. But, I'd never forget that there's another world bound to this one. Yeah, for long. Shadow and Light are two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. They left it because they, that it was their design that we should meet. Yeah, that's what we'll all believe. Maybe you'll do all right. So now Midna's gone. Thank you. If the princess spoke truly, as long as the mirror's around, we could meet again. But... Link, this is really sad. I'm not, I'm not kidding, guys. This is just kind of sad. I... Take a guess of what she wants to say for the man that she's been traveling with for almost eight months. The sages said only the true ruler of the twilight can uh, break the mirror. <laughs> I believe she does this to make sure no evil will ever escape the twilight realm. Or no evil will enter the twilight realm again. That's what I've always believed. This part's just real sad. That, uh, that's the ending. It's sad, romantic, and good. So, anyway guys, I will end my commentary here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. No, no, I'll keep talking to the rest of the credits. I can at least do that. So, there you can see the fairies that are going around in, uh, Elden Spring. It's going to be showing all four springs, because, and since we've done the Cave Ordeals, you get this little thing. If you've not done the Cave Ordeals, which again is optional, um, you'll just see the random, you'll just see this one spring. That's it. is so good. I don't care what anyone says about it. I'll say this again. This is the best game I've ever played. May not have the best graphics as of now of this generation. I could care less. I could care less about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I could care less about Gears of War or Halo. I could care less about all that shit. This game is just so good. I, I don't care what any gamer says. This is the best Zelda game ever made. Until Zelda Wii comes out. <laughs> we don't know that for sure. Because this is by far the best Zelda game. Best game I've ever played. Um, for if Zelda Wii is what I hope it is, of what I've heard of the rumor, is if it's a sequel to this, I'm expecting it to blow my mind. So here we see the Temple of Time. 
like, I don't know why it just shows all these random locations. I guess it's just for more looks and uh, getting out more of the credits out. But that's okay. I don't mind talking for now. It's like one of those moments where I can finally relax, get this off my chest. <sighs> but here in a minute, the music will be picked up. And of course, at the end of every game with the Master Sword, it's always back at its pedestal. Sword of Evil's Bane. We got that in part 49. And there's our house, which we... I think the last time we went to that was about part 13 or so. I don't even remember. It, it's been a long time. We... Oh, God. I don't even know. And there's Ila, Ilya. Now, this is what I meant by I think this could be improve the ending if Link stayed behind and married Ila. Because I, am a, I think that couple could work out. But, nope. He's going to get on Epona. He's setting off into the world where his new adventures will begin. This right here, guys, is the end. The producer Shigeru Miyamoto <laughs> as video game designer. And Satoru I, I, I can't say his last name, Satoru. All rights, including the copyrights of game scenario, music program reserved by Nintendo. I will see you guys next time. See you guys later. Bye bye.